to look at every every kind of projection in uh, fictional projections in some right, written science fiction or a lot of written science, but certainly in movies, mm -hmm. you know, you find oh they got that wrong or they got that wrong. As time passes, so you look back in science fiction, it, it looks kind of dated, you know, the mm -hmm. future. Futures are are, are are past already you're very quickly, and they and they don't really predict anything or hardly predict anything, and I think that that's a. I think that you could you could encompass that central um, uh, transformation that goes on in a technical society, you know, about the idea of a breakthrough and the world changes overnight. Now, if 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 you were to, uh, a if you were to go on a time machine really into the future, it would probably be uh, you'd be dumbfounded. Mm. Uh, you wouldn't see things as in a science fiction movie that were just projected from the past, as Sid was saying. You know, uh, you got of course, he's right that you have to uh, you, uh, you you know there'll be identifiable things. People probably still have children, and people probably could still commit crimes or whatever. You know. But there will be vast change. We can't really predict that well. The the whole idea of I probably said this before to you, but the whole idea of of um, the the profound effect of breakthroughs, <clears throat> where we are taken somewhere because we've we've committed ourselves to the scientific method, and the scientific method pays off all the time, but not in the way that we would invent it. You know, we, we would we would want it to be uh, more compatible with our inner selves, our our, our uh, deeper uh, ancient selves, right. wherein there's evil and good, and all these abstractions are personified all around us. You know, mm -hmm. so it's very interesting. You yeah. know, and I'm just saying it would be. I'd love to write a screenplay about the future, where of course it's, you know. You know you're not really predicting so much as you're you're trying to uh, uh, create a, <coughs> a a parallel a, a metaphor that's parallel to what's more likely, right. and try to try to imagine take, take those what, leaps. what those huge leaps yeah. might be. And yeah. now, not that you uh, you know by their very nature, if 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 you can if you if you can imagine a leap. Um, uh, that really makes sense, then maybe you've thought of one, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, you know, maybe you're doing science, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but, but, uh, but all that aside, it would be interesting to, the, the, effect, of a, the effect of a good, uh, uh, say, use of sci science fiction in a film when it comes to predicting the future, the effect is to, is to have an audience say, oh, that's probably what it, Really, it will be like you mm. know. Even though we all agree, mm. we, it's very hard to predict. Mm. But I, I would like to make films like that, where, where where you're where you're not just doing the old cliche. It's soiling it green. We're eating people. We're yeah. we're you know. It's it's the recycling. Yeah. We do too much recycling of the past. And uh, um, I remember distinctly, you know, going in a room with with um, uh, uh, Jim Cameron. And having all the actors come in in costume, and uh, and we had felt tips, and we were, we were putting you know little slogans on their body armor, right? And, right, you know, it's scribbling it's apocalypse now, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and and I invented a a, a, a patch for the uh, drop ship, which uh, they did it wrong and made it too small, but it was this, uh, the colonial eagles, you know. With these great big boots coming down like this, with a machine gun pointing down, and and uh, and and it says bugs, uh, bug stompers. <laughs> That's what they were. And then uh, and the thing I was I was most pleased was I came up with this slogan that was around. It says "We endanger species." <laughs> I love it. And I had a jacket with that on the back, but I lost it. Oh, but, we need to but, do that again. That'll but, be that'll be a collector's item. But my my point being here is that we knew. We knew that we were recreating uh, Vietnam, you know, in the way right. the military looked mm -hmm, and all mm -hmm. that. And I had to do the dropship. Mm -hmm. You know, it was very clear to me right away that Jim wanted a kind of a, kind of an Apache or a, or a uh, you know, some a Huey helicopter mm -hmm. as a, as a spaceship. And part of you would say, well, the, you won't even recognize air, aircraft or spacecraft that far in the future. You know, we. 
but it'd be fun to try. Yeah. So, so uh, rather than endless variants on airplanes, you know, I'd like to see some spacecraft mm -hmm. designs that say, "Wow, that might work," or, mm -hmm. or, or, "Well, that makes sense." But, but there's so much originality out there to, you know, uh, to bleed off science. I, I would, I would. Um, it's a shame to waste it, you know. And it, and even Cameron, uh, indeed, did did. A, a, a rather cliched, predictable script, you know, it just it was spectacular. In, in Avatar. In, in Avatar. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we, we've seen the story yeah. of... And, and some million. of those ships look rather similar. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they were also very Vietnam and, yeah. and kind of... But <clears throat> great fun, mm -hmm. and it was a play on the past. And, and uh, you know, and I, I don't know, and Sid talk, you know, Sid's talking about pulling it off, and, and I think I think he, he, he has a grasp for for doing things that look like they're from the future, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but uh, I don't, I, I really don't think he, he's interested so much in the engineering of how they would really work. Um, well, the, 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 the loader in uh, Aliens was a very uh, technical, you know, if you like a... Um, sure, it's a, it's uh, a yeah. You know, a, a piece of industrial engineering, really, of, of what that might be. And very much work. what you, yeah. we would expect, because mm. we've been talking about mm. exoskeletons mm. for a long time. Mm. Uh, uh, and, you know, Jim designed that. I didn't. Jim did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jim designed that. I always right. have to say that. Right. Uh, I, 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 I would have loved to have had a crack at it, but, right. but he, he designed it. He drew it all up, just as he, did, he drew up the... the um, Terminator robot, right? Uh, you know, and that the okay. guy wore on his shoulders, yep. you know, yep. and they'd shoot up like that, and he would walk it. <laughs> wow! Okay. And uh, so, you know, he's an excellent designer. Yeah. But I, but you're capturing. But what we're really doing is we're recycling what we really predictably expect the future to be like. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying it, it is never what we predict. Mm. Uh, it's maybe close, but it's never. What we predict. Mm. And it would be fun for science fiction to acknowledge the breakthroughs. And, I mean, uh, we're in two thousand. Try to simulate them. Exactly. We're, we're in two thousand and twelve, and you know, when you were thinking uh, in this uh, future, uh, where so many years ago, mm. what two thousand and twelve would look like? Yes. And here we are. Yeah. You know, what do you? You know, what do you feel? Yeah. Yeah. Are you disappointed? Are you? Uh, do you think that it, it is actually? Um, <laughs> You know, uh, a, a future that if you stepped into now that you wouldn't recognize. I think I think uh, I, I, if you could really exercise your imagination, and say you, you were to pluck a la Back to the Future, plucked out of the fifties uh -huh. and dropped right here. Yeah. Um, no flying cars. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I, I, sort I, of. I, well, yeah, sort <laughs> of. Yeah, I, I think I think I think there'd be a lot of disappointments, mm -hmm. but there'd be a lot of. What you know? Mm -hmm. What True. is that? And, and and people walking around with phones that are that yeah. big and talking yeah. to the other side of the world. Yeah. I mean, Dick Tracy just, never had that. Well, he had a wrist. I know you know, that was it, but <laughs> that, that was a, the inkling of it coming. Yeah. You know, just didn't yeah. kind of pan out that way. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I know. And the the uh, but I, I do I do think uh, our progress is problematic. Mm -hmm. I've always thought felt that it's had a you know, a, a very detrimental effect on the environment and possibly more and more all the time. At the same time, uh, we, it has created problems that only it can solve. Mm. So we can't abandon science. Mm. Um, if the application of a lot of scientific knowledge led to industrial pollution and, and, and you know, uh, well, just and, and, uh, cup, uh, uh, marching side by side with overpopulation, mm. you know. Mm. Um, it, it, it's, so it's, so it's um, um, I'm, I'm still not sure. I, I think one of the things that uh, the evolutionary uh, uh, psychiatrists and uh, psychologists are doing, you know, uh, is, is, is talking about uh, things like hardwiring and all, uh, that, that yeah, we, exactly. we, we, we do have a volatility. Human enhancement. Yes, we do have a volat. Humans have a volatility that spills over, a kind of like cranky mm. chimps, mm. and boy, it's tenacious. It doesn't go away, you know. All the binge drinking among teenagers, you know, because mm. they kind of they're kind of. The city's got a real problem with drinking, mm. and, and and it's all it's all um, uh, indeed uh, the the cliche the alteration of the family 
but it's not alteration, it's the erasing of the family, the family's, mm. you know, really falling apart. Mm. And all these things, and, and to decry them as, 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 from a conservative point of view, is kind of pathetic, you know. We really, we really got to come to grips w with, with how much longer can all this hold together, you know. We, we, uh, 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 and I would like to think it could, mm. but, um, but I really do think all the, the these enormous expansions in brain science mm. um, is really going to give us some incredible insights into our problematic behavior, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. This whole rational versus yeah. you know, passion, irrational, yeah, or yeah. unconscious I, 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 um, I mean, there are reasons, decision making. There are reasons for all those emotions mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean, you know, the, there there are there are um, real real limitations uh, in in how much we can control about mm -hmm. about these things. Uh, uh, our fears and our rages and our anger, uh, as well as our, you know, our um, enthusiasm, our curiosity, mm. and, and all. And it's still, it's still an interesting battle, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I know, but, thank, but, thank, thanks, Ron. I, I think this is one of those discussions that could go on for a very long time. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, I, and I and I love and you know because really. I'm sorry to have called you a scientist, but you are it's very much you are a scientist. You well, uh, you, you you know, embrace like the sciences. I do. And yeah, you know, I the do. social sciences and lots of uh, aspects of, you know, yeah, um, yeah. human thought. So yeah. um, being able to express those in all sorts of ways, um, to an audience mm. is uh, is and the what you've already brought to the world is mm. just Fabulous, um, well, and, I, and I and you know to your ideas of uh, you know the the script of the future. I would really like to be watching that film. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm putting that out there yeah, because yeah. you know, yeah, I know. We, this will go on, on the blog, and uh, you know we've, we've we've got a few filmmakers out there still. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, yes. So thank you, Ron. Okay.